Oh, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, and a bumpy yard. Bumpy yard, bumpy yard. Oh, dear. Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, guys, as you could see, dead center, a new member of the family, the Ego 56 volt mini bike. This is so fun. And yeah, guess what? It actually takes batteries. Check this out. Wait a minute, that's a 2.5 amp hour battery. What's that doing in there? Well, we'll explain that to you later because we did a lot of testing with different batteries. All right, and this is gonna have timestamps in this video, of course, because as you know our channel, if you don't, we are very detailed. So you're gonna use our timestamps to move around. But guys, we've got our keys. We jumped on. We're 6'1", almost close to that 220 pound weight limit. And we had a ball, let me just tell you. We had a ball. This thing has a full suspension. It has front and back hydraulic disc brakes, which is crazy. It can go up to 28 miles an hour, and it actually can go a range of around 20 miles. So you can really have some fun with this thing. As you can see, as a channel, we spent a boatload of money and had to take a second mortgage on our home because 99% of the time, Ego, uh, we're not sponsored by Ego, so we have to go out and buy this stuff. And we try to get it soon so that you can actually see these videos. We did a video on the pressure washer. I'll put an image up in the upper right-hand corner. And we did a video, a detailed video also on the wet dry vac. And you can see the image up in the upper right hand corner. We'll put links in the video description. Now, we did some videos on the new Ego aluminum deck mower, and we're gonna do some cutting demos coming up soon. The grass is finally starting to grow. But, guys, as you can see, not sponsored. It's gonna be a detailed video with timestamps in the description. So, let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Here is what we're covering in the video. If you want, hit pause. And uh, here are the timestamps as well. We're going to put these in the video description. But uh, let's go on. Let's check this out. There she goes. 275 pounds in the truck bed. Going to be real fun getting this thing out. Well, there it is. Definitely not light, so be aware. 275 pounds. What I'll do real quick is I'll put up measurements so you know how big this is, just in case you're thinking about putting it in the back of your truck or your car. So let me get some measurements. So here are some measurements looking at this box. So we've got 62 inches in length from left to right. We've got 18 and a half inches in depth and 43.5 inches in height. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Steel cage. Okay, this thing is in a steel cage in a box. They are no joke in the cost of protection. Seriously, man. I mean, this is this is this is steel. I mean, they are no joke. Look at this, man. Look at how they put this inside in this box. This is no joke. I mean, it's got the three lifts to keep it above the ground, but crazy. What do you do with this? I mean, I'm going to keep the nuts and the bolts, <laughs> but that is insane. So I took apart the bars from the front side to pretty much try to pull this out of the cage instead of disassembling the whole cage. So you could see here some of the bars. And by the way, they got these tie-down straps, inexpensive, you know, one-time use tie-down straps. They uh, all over the place. We used our drill and, you know, just get this guy off. We're almost done. 
All right, I was able to take it out of the frame from the front, just removing the bars and the straps. Not bad at all. So the handlebar and the display needs to be assembled. It shouldn't take long. All right, real quick, we opened up this box right here, and we've got all the manuals for the charger, the bike, and the batteries are in here. We've got tools in here, I guess to assemble the handlebar, and then we've got two keys. All right, just wanted to show you that. It's another thing to think about. You get two 7.5 amp hour batteries. They come with a small charge, so be prepared to charge them. But you get two of those, right? And then you've got this phenomenal dual port charger. You can put two batteries on this and actually charge up your batteries. So these are $399 each, and this is a $200 charger. That's $1,000 in accessories. You know, and when you buy this $2,000 bike, because it's a kit, you're going to be able to get all this stuff. Now, without the kit, it's $1,299 for the bike on its own. But the kit is usually always the way to go. All right, so here it is, and we're going to go over key features and detailed specs. So I'm going to start off with key features. So this bike's got a powerful rear hub motor that delivers a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Now, if you buy this with the two 7.5 amp hour batteries, they're saying you can get up to a 20 mile range. I'm not sure if that's on eco mode, to be honest with you. I'm going to put a note up on the screen on what I find on that. I think it might be eco mode. The bike can store an additional battery, by the way. So it's got two battery slots on the top and then one on the side. Or you can also use that for storage, like your cell phone, stuff like that. This has three driving modes, Eco, Normal, and Sport. It's got a full digital display, and we're also going to show you that at night, not only in the day, so you can see what that looks like. Uh, you've got an LED headlight. Again, we're going to demo that at night. It's got dual front and back hydraulic brakes, so they're disc brakes. You've got front and rear suspension for performance and for comfort. Now let's go over pricing and detailed specs all right you can purchase this bike two ways one you can just buy the bike it's mb 1000 for 1299 dollars or you can buy the kit mb 1005-2 that's 1999 or two thousand dollars uh, that'll come with two 7.5 amp hour batteries and a dual port charger and that's what we showed you in the beginning we went and bought the kit now keep in mind those two batteries and the charger are a thousand dollars so you know buying them separately just doesn't make sense some uh, information here so you need to be 16 or older is what ego states they also state the mini bike is designed for one person some other information they've included is for off-road use only. Ego states in your area, it may be illegal to operate on public streets, roads, or highways. So just be aware. As far as safety is concerned, definitely wear a helmet and gloves, um, you know, at a minimum. And uh, let's talk about batteries. So they're saying that two 5-amp-hour batteries uh, would be the minimum recommendation on this bike. Let's talk about the rims. So the rims are 12 inch rims. The tire size is 130 slash 70 dash 12. The PSI rating for the tires is 32 PSI. And let's talk about speed range. So Eco will go up to 15 miles per hour. Normal will go up to 20 miles per hour and sport mode uh, up to 28 miles per hour. And stay tuned because we're gonna talk about sport mode because you won't have sport mode enabled out of the box. Now you do have reverse um, at two miles an hour. So there is a reverse switch. We'll show you that later on. The bike weight, 148 pounds or 67 kilograms, and that's without the batteries. Now when you get this shipped, like we showed you earlier in the video, it's 275 pounds with the steel shipping frame and everything included. Now let's talk about maximum weight. 
So this can handle 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. Again, it's made for one person, not two. The weather rating on this is IPX4. That means it's protected against splashing water. Now, what's the warranty? Very interesting, the warranty on this. It's a one-year warranty. I'm surprised. I really am. The batteries are three-year, but I'm surprised you get only a, a one-year warranty. Um, you, you definitely get a longer warranty on their other tools. All right, we're going to start our close look here now on the bike. I'll start off with the seat. And uh, I do have to say, I've ridden this a little bit. It is really comfortable. Again, it isn't made for two people, but definitely pretty comfortable. Quality made. You know, you got your double stitch here. You got your Ego logo. And you've got your bar back here. That's going to be helpful in lifting this and moving this if you need to or uh, putting it on your vehicle. Battery compartment does require that you use the key. So you put the key in here. Forward will pop up that section right there. You open it up. Now, one thing I'd like this to have is a holding position, but it doesn't. They didn't think about that. But to be honest, those batteries can be heavy. And you got the juggle, but you've got a, a metal locking latch here. Okay, this is see-through. You'll be able to see the batteries later on. You can see the actual batteries. I like the honeycomb that they did there. It's kind of funky. But you can see your batteries. Um, you, you know and your charge now one thing I like about the battery compartment is they actually you know thought about a lot of stuff so this here to protect the connectors that connect against your batteries you know keeps it clean actually when your battery hits that that's the locking mechanism basically that's your release but I like that they did this um, I think they should do this on all the tools to protect the connectors but batteries, um, depending on the size, lock it in, it pops up, and you're ready to go. You've got your two batteries. Later on, we're going to see if we can fit larger batteries in here. So look forward to that later on in the video. But there's your latch. All right. It is locked now. Okay. We can uh, open up, if we turn this to the left... We can open up this compartment here that can be used for maybe your cell phone. Um, you can also put an extra battery in there as well. But um, let me show you real quick that that can fit an extra battery. So here it goes. Um, basically, it's not going to lock in place. It just slides in and it'll allow you to close this. But again, you can put a cell phone in there, your wallet, but just close that and it'll lock in place. Again, you're going to use the key. You're going to turn it backwards to pop this back open. All right, there you go. Concerning suspension, you've got a front and rear suspension system. As you can see here, you've got your shocks right here in the front. You've got your spring right here in the back, you know, and your shock as well. So that's really good. You've got thick plastic fenders they are pretty darn thick i must say in the back and then you've got one in the front this one especially it seems made of a thicker plastic so you've got that now here's the rear hub motor this is your motor here and again up to 28 miles per hour in sport mode all right the rims are 12 inch rims and these are meaty beefy tires again made for off-road not made for the road we're going to be driving you know on the regular road that you shouldn't be doing but we're going to be doing that for demonstration purposes um, here are your foot pegs so you put your feet right on these pegs as you're riding all right but uh here's the headlight it does have uh, three modes really it has a low uh normal and high beam so we'll show you that later on. We're actually going to demo this light later on. It is an LED headlight. We'll demo it in the dark so you can see what that looks like. We'll also show the LCD screen in the dark so you can see what that looks like. Here's your rear light as well, your brake light. So you've got that. And uh, you do have some reflectors. 
I didn't see any in the back, but you do have reflectors on both sides of the fork. You know, so you do have that. Now this does have a full hydraulic brake system. This is for the front, that would be for the rear. That's where the fluid goes in. And you could see here in the back, you got your disc right there. All right, the whole kit and caboodle. Right there, connected to the hub motor. And of course, you've got it on the front as well with the holes for the heat dissipation. But just a good look there. You get a pretty beefy kickstand, and, and this is great because this can you can just use your foot to knock that down. It's got a decent sized plate. I wish that was a little bit bigger, but it seems to hold this up without an issue. Now you can adjust the steering, you know, if you want. This handlebar can be pulled back, you know, it can be pulled full forward. But watch the setup part later on in the video. I'll explain to you some pain I went through putting this on and how I did it so it actually works for me. So see that later in the video, but you've got four bolts to take off in order to adjust the uh, handlebar. You do get two keys, as I showed you earlier in the video. And you do, here's where you, you know, basically put the key and, you know, besides unlocking the storage in the battery area, turn that on, you're ready to go. All right, so here are the bike measurements and the operating temperature and storage temp from the manual. Hit pause if you need to review this. Well, having fun with the new Ego mini bike is going to be awesome. But don't forget, more importantly is your safety. Make sure you're wearing a helmet and some gloves. Don't forget, this thing can go up to 28 miles an hour. But it doesn't even have to be that fast if you fall or something bad happens. So please be safe. So one of the questions people have is, what batteries fit in here? Well, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I do wish this stayed open, but it doesn't. So I'm going to lightly lay it down for a minute, and I'm going to grab a 2.5 amp hour battery, which fits in here very easy, but you got to see it to believe it, that this is so tiny. Okay, so look how much room is in there with a 2.5 amp hour battery. A lot of room, right? Now, what if a 12 amp hour battery would fit? I wonder. Well, let's try that out. All right, so the 2.5 is right there. I moved it to the front. And here is a 12 amp hour battery. Will it fit? Well, I guess I'm going to find out right now. Wow fits nice and it actually still has a little bit more room I'm wondering what that tells us about the future now just a heads up the 2.5 amp hour battery and the 4 amp hour battery won't work you need to have at least two 5 amp hour batteries to run this you can run it also on one battery but to my knowledge it would need to be I think a 10 amp I could be wrong we'll play around We'll check it out. We'll find out. We'll, we'll answer that question. What about our storage compartment? Can we put any battery in here? Now, this is just storage, just so you all know. There's no live connectors in there, as you can see. So this is kind of like, oh, I got a backup. So it does just slide in. It doesn't lock in. It just slides in. But can we fit a 12 amp hour battery? Well, let's find out. Again, 12 amp hour. No problem. Here's a really good question. If I put a 2.5 amp hour battery in this thing, will it actually allow me to drive? Will it say ready? Let's try it. This tiny little thing. One battery. Push down this empty. Here we go. 
Let's turn this on for a minute. It's funny, it says ready. It's given me the eco. So I have the eco option, as you can see right there. Can I switch to normal? No, normal requires two batteries. Will this run on eco with a 2.5 amp hour battery? That's, as you can see, it's really not even three bars. But I guess, you know, I'd love to see a percentage there. But one battery, let's see. I'm going to pull this out into the sunlight. Now you won't be able to see the screen, but all I'm going to do is push ready and then just, holy moly, I'm going. Are you kidding me? A 2.5 amp hour battery. I got 10 miles an hour, 11, 12. I got a battery flashing already. <laughs> wow, 13, 14 miles an hour. Look at this, guys. With a 2.5 amp hour battery. Let me go ahead and turn around. But it'll get me back to the house. But the battery's flashing empty already. 7 miles an hour. a little bit but this is funny I didn't know I could do wow all right we're gonna do more tests I don't know if you see what I see but as you could see there it is flashing like it's empty I mean it just had three bars which really was like two something but uh, interesting and guys we just rode 14 miles an hour on a 2.5 amp hour battery. Now, if I click the battery, it's still showing two bars. Look at this tiny little thing. So that's interesting. You can. I mean, it's kind of interesting because not, not a lot of people have, you know, a lot of batteries and some people only have small ones, but it did it. What would happen if we put two 2.5 amp hour batteries? Would it allow us to go to normal? And actually, would it allow us to go to sport mode? That would be interesting. I'm going to charge these up a little bit, you know, maybe halfway. And I'm going to try two 2.5 amp hour batteries. But check this out. I've got the Delta Pro Ultra, right? I'm actually charging it with solar. Now this thing is outputting almost a thousand watts to charge the batteries because those are fast chargers and I've got an input of 200 and change in solar outside. I'm using one of my favorite panels I have to say. This is a Pecron panel. 330 watt. I just like it. It's easy to use. This is the 330 watt. So that, that's connected to the Delta Pro Ultra. So here's a good question. What can a 12 amp hour do? I mean, if I put this in by itself, can I get sport mode? Can I get normal mode? Right? One battery. Turn the key. Pull up the kickstand real quick. Now we're on normal, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and switch it. Actually, we're on eco, excuse me. I'm going to switch it to normal. Ah, it won't do it. So you need two batteries for uh, normal. But you can run this on, you know, uh, one battery. As you can see here, you're only going to get up to 15 miles an hour. And again, it shows that that battery is fully charged. And it only shows one in the slot. Well, I'm going to get the two two. 2.5 amp hour batteries bring them out and we're going to see if we can get normal and we can get sport with two 2.5 amp hour batteries okay i've got two minis two 2.5 amp hour batteries as you can see there so let's just uh put them in lock in place 
lock in place. Now we've got, it's not really fully charged to be honest with you. It's probably like 90%. This one too. They're not fully charged. I wish there was percentage meters. <laughs> Close this, lift up the kickstand, turn the key. And look at the screen now. And again, here's how you change from, you know, uh, eco to normal to sport. So here we are, eco. Let's switch to normal. Wow. All right. And then sport. Get out of here. Five amp hours total of battery. And you can do sport. I mean, probably not for long. <laughs> But, all right, I'm going to try this. Now, guys, this thing boogies. It has a good jump, so be aware. All right, I'm going to roll this out. You won't see the screen, but I'll tell you how fast we're going. Okay. And uh, all you need to do, and I thought you needed to hold this, but all you need to do is just move this once to the front, like that. You just rock it one time. And it's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, that's all you need to do. Look, look at the jump on this thing. All right, here we go. i to be careful now. All right, guys, I'm going 14, 17, 19, 21, 22, 24, 25, 27 miles an hour, and I gotta start slowing down. Wow, this is sick. This is fun. Guys, I'm 6'1". My knees are bent, of course, right? My knees are bent. But this thing is fun. And again, look at this. Watch this. When I when I and I know it's hard to tell, but when I when I pull this, this thing jumps up. Let's see what we get. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going uphill. 22. In this neighborhood, I gotta take it easy. All right, well, that was fun. Let's take a minute and just do a close look. So you could see the batteries through this here, which is kind of nice. And the screen, you got your load bar, right? That bar up tops your load bar. Obviously your miles per hour, what drive you're in, your batteries. Do you have two batteries in there? And then obviously your eco, your normal, and your sport mode. All right. I think this is the, uh, this actually tracks how many miles you go. It, it says one mile. We've driven one mile already. All right. Here's where you put your key. Obviously, you got two keys. That's where you put your key. Let's talk about these controls real quick. I'll take it out so we are in some sunlight. All right, let's start off with the left side. So you've got, first of all, this is just a high beam or regular, but to turn on your lights, you actually go here. And right now it's on the off position. So off, on, and there's two levels of brightness in general. So you could see there. So again, off, regular, and you know, high. And again, this is basically your high beam. When you want your high beam, you just you know, switch it to high beam. Here's your horn. Pretty loud. You got reverse. So you can go in reverse. It goes one mile an hour, to my knowledge. Over here is your ready button. When you're ready, all you do is push this up, and that's it. And now you're ready to go. All right, you just obviously you know, give it some uh, power. Hydraulic brake fluid here, and hydraulic brake fluid there. And that's kind of it, you know, as far as the look is concerned. And let's take a ride, and I can talk to you a little bit about the ride. I'll try not to go too fast because of the wind. So to drive, you do need to move this this way one time and let go. You don't have to hold it. I thought you had to hold it. So right now, it's not going to go anywhere. But if I just go like that, and that's it. Now it's ready to go. And uh, you put your feet on the pegs as a driver, because this is made for one person. All right, it's got knobby tires. Not made for uh, roads, 
or highways. It's made for off-road, so be aware. I'm just doing this in the local neighborhood. I could be breaking rules, but it, it's I'm on Eco right now. It's very comfortable. You can turn as well, you know, so looking around, you can turn. Obviously, it doesn't have turning signals. It doesn't have a license plate. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have turning signals because it's not made for the road. All right, but it feels nice. And I'm 6'1", and uh, can't complain, I'll be honest with you. All right, it's pretty dark. We're gonna actually do a light test. I'm gonna put the lights on. I'll put them on high and then I'll do high beam just so you can see what the lights look like. All right, so it's off. Let's put them on. Not bad, kind of like a wide beam, wide beam, right? Let's turn them on high. I mean, that's pretty good, right? So again, low, off, right? So low, high, and high beam. So you can see the high beam actually is pretty cool. Lights, uh, not bad. You know, if you're gonna be riding around in the dirt in this, pretty nice. All right, we're gonna take an illegal ride on the streets. It's late at night, I just want you to see the lights. All right. So, I'm just gonna go on, I'm on Eco. I'm gonna turn the lights on. You can see. So, that is full, it's just on. It's on low, and it's off. So, on, high, okay, and high beam. So, it does light up the road pretty darn good. I've got a dog barking. So, that's good. This is the normal light. That's off. That's low. That's high. That's pretty nice. Um, it lights up the street really well, as you can see. Pretty cool. Green lights up nice at night too. This is a really clear LCD, you know, pretty nice. You're going to put the display on first. So you want to take off the bolt here and the bolt here, which we already did. So these two bolts, take them off. You do get a uh, Allen key to do that. All right. And then you're going to put the display right here first. Then you're going to put the bolts on. So now that the screen is on, right, the screws are in and they're hand tightened. You want to loose. You want to take this apart so you can put your your handlebars on. As you can see, we've got the screen on. We've got the handlebars on. I want to make you aware of something. So after you put the screen on and you go to put the, uh, the handlebar on, you're going to find these cables are going to get in your way on both sides. So what I did was I tucked them under the screen and then I tightened my handlebar. That wasn't easy. Um, otherwise, they're going to be on top of the screen. And you'll see this if you get one and you assemble it. Again, assembly is not bad. You're just putting a screen on and handlebars on. But just want to make you aware these cables can get in the way. But this is all set now. Next, they say you should inflate the tires. You want to make sure they're 32 PSI. Now we're going to be using the Ryobi. This is the uh, 18 volt, you know. Slap your battery underneath. This is super convenient. You uh, turn it on and you set the PSI, right? As you can see, you can hold this down and go straight. And I can just stop at 32 and not have to worry and then connect it and that's it. Start the process. 
So as you can see, they come with 25 PSI. This automatically senses the PSI. It is connected, and this is a little flexible. Just be careful. I don't know. I'll tell you. You can see this thing moves. Um, but what's nice is this is a cord, so this actually helps you get it on here. But let's just turn this on now and hit start. That was pretty quick. <laughs> so you want to enable sport. Well, here's what you do. Take your keys, put them in here, turn them back, actually turn them forward so you can open up this latch, okay? Now you're gonna have to hold this. This is like a juggling act. <laughs> As you can see here, there's two screws. One, two. Now I've already taken this one off. But as you can see, if you take off these two screws, it'll allow you to slide the seat back. Now, I think I can close that for a minute. It'll allow you to slide the seat back. Seat comes off. And then when you put it back on, you just put it back on. So we're going to put this here for now. And I want you to see there's a switch in the back. We'll get a close-up of that switch. And you can see that... The switch is kind of hard to see because it's dark, but it's actually in the on position. It's a speed limiter. We're going to turn that. Now it's off. The speed limiter is off. And then we take our seat. I'm going to lift this back up and lay the seat down. And basically, we can lay it down and push it forward. All right, so again, just lay it down, push it forward. Now put your two screws back on, and you're ready to go into sport mode. I hate wasting things. You know, this is steel. It's got some use. I have a great idea. I hope I have your attention. So, take all of the bottom screws out just the bottom ones right take all the bottom ones out all right now that all the bottom ones are out follow me on this one all right you see what i did did you see what i did are you with me are you following me i'm going to show you what you can use this for here's a truck are you with me so far Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's see. There you go. <laughs> you can take the bike. Throw it on here. It's got the holders for the back wheels. It's got the holders for your front wheels. Why throw this away when you can actually use it? Is that something? Reduce waste. Reduce waste. Check that out. That is something. You might as well save these also. You know, get yourself an organizer. Keep your screws and your nuts, and you'll keep your sanity. Well, I got to tell you, I had a ball. You know, I am 6'1", very close to the 220 pounds, and I just had to get this. I wasn't going to get it, but... I decided to get it, and as you can see, I bought the kit with the two 7.5 amp hour batteries and the dual charger. And if you don't have batteries and stuff, you're better off buying the kit because buying these separately, don't forget, each battery is $399 and then the charger is $200, so that's $1,000 right there. Now don't forget about safety. You got to make sure you wear a helmet and some gloves. This is also made for off-road only. That's all I'm going to say. Please be careful. I hope this video helped you in some way. If it did, take a moment. Give us that thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. It really helps the channel. And uh, if you want to follow us on social media, I'm going to put some social media. Our channel is right up top on the upper right-hand corner. You'll see our Tesla channel. 
We got a Tesla a year ago. We've got about 18,000 miles now. And we're starting to put up some videos. So if you want, subscribe to our Tesla channel. And uh, I'm going to put some videos on the right if you want to click on those and check them out. But if you want to subscribe and join the family here at Tech Made Easy, well, go ahead and click on that round logo right there. And you'll be able to subscribe to our channel, become a member of our family. And really, we love collaborating with you guys, your viewers, subscribers. Thank you so much. Have a great day.